on. What shows up on your tape that you're most proud of? I think just my dependability. I think just my ability to go out there and execute a game plan and be a leader and a guy that people, you know, want to surround themselves with. I just feel like, you know, I'm a competitor and I'm someone who's going to go out there to do anything that it takes to win. Your kind of mantra has been never give up. Tell me about where that came from. From my grandfather. So, I mean, he was, he was you know, old school. He always sit me down for, for conversations from when I was a little kid to, to, you know, until he passed to teach me different life lessons and teach me how to be a man, how to be a better player, how to be a better student. And he'd end every single conversation with, and remember Will, never give up. That was his, his mantra that he lived by. And he would send me little gifts every Christmas, whatever that pertained to that message. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, that just stuck with me. It's a very simple way to, I think, uh, live your life, but very effective. How has that impacted the way that you approach not only your career, but your life in general? Just a relentless attitude towards everything. I really just want to be the best that I can be at anything that I do. Uh, I, want to, I want to win every football game. I want, I want to beat my grandma in Scrabble every time I play her, you know? Like, that's the competitive nature that, that I feel like I have, even though my record against her is probably like two in a hundred. I get pissed off every time I lose her, you know? So, I mean, but I, I just want to, you know, better myself in all ways as a person, uh, as a competitor, as a player. You're from Connecticut. You've really kind of embodied the Southern hospitality, you fit right in. You only spent two years in Kentucky, but it really seems like you've embraced this region. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, that, that was my home. I, I, I slowly kind of tried to understand the best that I could, just um, the culture and the, and the community of the area that I was ingrained in and that I had such a, a high impact on with the position that I was in. So I did my best to kind of touch different people, touch different areas. Uh, I look to do the same thing here. I mean, I, I wanna be able to make sure that I can you know, reach out to the different parts of the Nashville and Tennessee community to, to really know the types of people that I'll be interacting with and that I'll be influencing. You happy you're staying in the South? I'm happy, yeah, especially being so close to Kentucky and so many fans uh, from Kentucky that are gonna be able to make the trip. My sister's moving to Lexington, so she's not very far. I'll be able to, uh, you know, be able to visit her. She'll be able to visit me. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is, uh, like I said, this is, this is where I wanted to be and I'm just so glad to be here.